it is a very very important uh, thing to understand considering the change perspective and the societal change we are sitting at see uh, in fact this is such an important topic to be discussed now because the and therefore i've written a book over it also freeze your biological clock see we all need to understand what is egg freezing all about it egg freezing is about getting your eggs or oocytes frozen at a stage when you are young when the eggs are very healthy they have a good life they give you a good chance of pregnancy which can be used if required as an insurance later on see we are having lot of people who are working they want to pursue your career or they want to marry late Uh, or there are lot of other things. They are not financially stable enough to go and plan a baby in a pregnancy, so they want some time. But Mother Nature has not given us that choice. We, uh, if we go by nature, we, our egg quality and number both will decline with age. More so, uh, they will start declining after thirty. We say the peak best chance of having a baby is in the old. the 20s and early 30s and after 35 they decline significantly that is not something which anybody of us can change if you uh, know that your mother or uh, your sister you have a family history in which there is early menopause before 40 your egg reserve is less see we should do, uh, do the uh, potential uh, we say the fertility potential testing it should be done so that if the if we say a test called as amh is low or the egg reserve is low they are the ones who should go covid has played a huge role nowadays we are getting young people coming with very low reserves which is actually as doctors a surprise to us they are the ones or if you have illnesses prolonged illnesses autoimmune disorders you have endometriosis or you have got surgeries for ovarian cysts or cancers then it is uh, they are the people who should go for egg freezing kunj and i we world really uh, feels that this is such an important topic uh, and we all should be uh, working for it uh, and that is why we have also started an ngo by the name of khushiyon ki gunj which is वी से खुशियों की गूंज सबके घर में आए बिकॉज गुंजन आई वी एफ वर्ल्ड इज दिस एन जी ओ खुशियों की गूंज इज बाई वेमेन फॉर वेमेन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग अवेयरनेस वी वॉन्ट टू रेज फंड वी वॉन्ट टू हेल्प पीपल अबाउट एग फ्रीजिंग एंड दीज थिंग्स वाइकल कैंसर दैन वी आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू एजुकेट ऑन दिस आई हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल थ्रू विच आई डू लॉट ऑफ एजुकेशनल कंटेंट विच पीपल कैन फॉलो Uh, by the same name of Gujjar and IVF World, and thirdly, I've written a book also on this thing, which is available on Amazon, by the name of Freeze Your Fertility Clock, and this is uh, a book which is for anybody, a layman. It is not for doctors. It is for a, anybody who wants to read and know about egg freezing. It gives you a synopsis of what needs to be done. See, there are a lot of myths about it. Uh, so, what I want to talk to these people is, we are the on, one of the only centers. Very few centers who are IVF centers also take care of the pregnancy. We do so. Patients who undergo IVF with us, and if it is feasible for them, they carry on with the pregnancy. So, we talk about a take-home baby rate that we know how to deal with the risks. and the concerns associated with an ivf pregnancy and mind you when i am taking about uh, i'm talking about risk and concerns and care i'm not talking about bed rest hamara koi bhi patient bed rest pe nahi hota hai after ivf we never say anybody needs bed rest so it is not about uh, uh, bed rest or anything it is taking the proper medication going through a proper channel going through a proper monitoring and having a baby so when we go through this route and taking care of the nutrition and other things we say that our take home baby rate is more than 80% that people who have conceived through ivf most of them would have a baby with us is what we are talking about when we are saying talking about take home baby rate there uh, well there are lot of ivf centers but we first of all give personalized attention and care all the treatments are tailor made so that is uh, one of the things that we prop we give proper tailor made treatment according to the patient needs needs and requirements then secondly as i said the most uh, another very important usp about us is that we take care of not only doing the ivf and doing it successfully because our ivf results are 
way beyond an average national which was just presented uh, which says that the IVF success rate is only at 50 percent. No, our IVF success is way beyond that and uh, which is available with our data. We are a process driven company. Like every person who comes for IVF and goes through the treatment, there is a certain process they run through and that is why the quality maintenance is very, very high. We can maintain the quality, we work, uh, we make tailor made treatments, we have got specialists, specialists in terms of doctors, embryologists and the team. So everybody's experience, we uh, provide empathetic care to the patient, we know how, how it feels to undergo IVF provide the hand holding and take care of even the nine months after IVF till they have a baby. So, hamara ye kehna hai, Munjan IVF word is khushiyon ki goonj, kyunki khushiyon ki goonj keval IVF positive aane mein nahi hai. Khushiyon ki goonj tab hai jab bachcha ghar aata hai. See, we are a bootstrapped company. We have done everything on our own till now. We have not taken any funding, which has been uh, the reason why we have taken those baby steps to uh, expansion but yes now we are looking forward for more tie-ups for collaborations internationally and uh, pan India as well first of all our target is the uh, North India uh, generally because we started from Delhi NCR we started from uh, in fact Ghaziabad Indrapuram which is uh, you can say uh, Delhi NCR region and now we already have centers uh, for uh, or total of eight centers for cell phone and other tie-ups in Delhi NCR and Western UP and our plan is to go up to far east and down south uh, and e uh, west and international collaborations we have already started with Bangladesh and we are looking further for uh, Kenya, Africa and uh, other e Eastern European countries where, uh, where the connectivity is good and we can provide good quality care at a cost which is feasible for everybody.